I'm the project manager of this, um, of this uh, Bionic cell factory and I'm part of the Bionics department for 10 years now and we we are known for flying objects, swimming objects, so we learned a lot from nature, we were inspired and we built robots with a lot of kinematics and now we are um, ready by technology to work with living organisms, so with um, really have them in our systems to merge technology and nature. The biggest challenges of our time is climate change and uh, carbon cycle and we, we went back and, and had a look at, at our past and millions of years ago the atmosphere was almost completely filled with carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide was transformed by microorganisms that appeared in, in in the water and they by photosynthesis they change this carbon dioxide into oxygen and sugar and biomass so they made life on earth possible at all because this this um, this uh, the whole atmosphere was then um, filled with oxygen so they um, they evolved this um, biochemical process over millions of years and now we see them as the perfect uh, small factory to take the carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere without any toxic waste or whatever. And here we, we, we put uh, microalgae into our systems and we can guarantee the best growth conditions by monitoring it and by having the right uh, pH value, the right temperature, the best lighting conditions. And then they grow 10 times more efficient than they do in nature. And everything is controlled by our um, automation part. Over here you can see um, the nutrition and, and some fresh water that we put inside. And the most um, difficult thing is to, to know how the algae feels. Um, you, can, you can recognize it by, by the color, but it's already too late. <laughs> Because everything's the, real color? the green. It's, it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be this color. Yeah, this is yes. this is algae here. This is algae. Okay. This is if living. No... If you if you smell at it, it smells like natural fish. color. <laughs> and if you go there and and um, yeah, yeah, you, you, you can recognize the smell. And he, let let's go over here because here. To guarantee the best growth conditions. We have a quantum sensor from a startup from Stuttgart and our um, own live microscope um, to check how the, how the algae feels. Here we, um, we, we know how, how much algae there is inside and um, how vivid the cells are by, by checking the, the, the color and the size. And then we can give this information to our system and then it learns how to keep everything in balance. And then you can say, you can, you can turn the parameters of um, having more biomass or being more energy efficient. And the, the most important thing for the algae to, to, to boost the, 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 the growth speed is to put more carbon dioxide into the system. And therefore, we have a, um, a system that binds carbon dioxide by absorbing the carbon dioxide out of out of the air. Here there's a granulate inside and if you push a lot of air through it and the carbon carbon dioxide is um, bind at those um, at those little balls and then if you heat them up then um, you can um, solve them and then we we put it here into the system with those small bubbles. And then in, in here it's uh, it's closed, and then we have the the, the perfect uh, carbon carbon dioxide um, amount here in the system. And over there we 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 take out the the oxygen, and they grow and grow and grow. And here we can harvest them with a usual uh, centrifuge to separate the water from the algae. And then, you see, um, the solution here is, is um, 
completely different to here. Here we have a, a thick mass. And this biomass can al already be used um, in pharma industry and, and for other materials. But we want to show that we can make really um, prestigious materials out of it by using enzymes. So we have the, the microorganisms as mini factories that we cut with the smallest um, biological tools we have, the enzymes, to open the algae and then um, open the, 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 the uh, take out the, the oil from the algae and then we just let it let the, the, um, the cell um, waste th sink down and here we have a very um, a very versatile uh, oil just built from the algae and this oil contains a lot of carbon dioxide that it put out, uh, took out of the atmosphere before and you can already um, yeah, take this uh, as supplement for um, vegan food because it has a lot of uh, omega-3 fatty acid or here we go two steps further to close the uh, to them um, to, to finish the enzymatic process to have biofuel and glycerol as very um, as very um, good raw materials so the whole factory um, shows that the automation technology is already uh, ready to uh, to go the next step to go into the biological transformation <laughs>